Hi there, it's Emma from Emma's Cards and Papercrafts. Today I'm bringing you another card from the um, Frames and Flowers um, Specialty DSP pack. I'll just get it out to show you. So this pack comes with um, three sheets of DSP here, like so. Um, they are double sided, so let's get them out completely, it's easier. Um, on the back you have these patterns, the front is these patterns, um, but it also comes with, um, I think it was either three or four sheets of die cut images, which I've put in one of these handy dandy folders. There's some layer pieces, there's lots of floral cutouts. Um, the pieces I'm going to be using today, I've already kind of pre-prepped things today a little bit. Um, so I've got a um, card base in shaded spruce. So this is a normal 21 by 14 and a half and then scored at 10 and a half down the middle. Um, I've got this frame here. I thought we'd put this in the middle and then layer up some sort of little flowery arrangement in the middle and then I made a sentiment already um, I thought we'd put on the side so something like this and then we'd probably throw in some sticky gems or something like that um hadn't put too much thought in it I might actually get another sort of spriggy bit with some flowers out of the packet here um, let's just pop these pieces I've already got out to one side so we don't get them muddled up. So, like I say, you've got various different shapes and um, frames, and then you've got all of these sort of florally bits. So I think we might pick this one out actually. Um, and again, we'll pop all of these back in again carefully. So the reason I put them in one of these. Uh, Little folders as every time I kept opening the packet they kept coming loose from the um, die cut sheets they were cut from and I didn't want to keep bending them and folding them so I thought it better just pop them all out and keep them in one of these envelopes and I put that in the DSP pack so we're going to start off by putting the frame where we want the frame I'm going to put this up on dimensionals and um, just so we can layer our flowers underneath it so with this um, paper pack, I'm going to do sort of like a little mini series to see how many cards I can make out of the whole pack. Try and use it all up and see how many cards I can actually make from it. Um, I'm not doing this all in one sitting, I'm just doing this gradually over time. Um, I will make it into a little playlist. I think my first video, my first card I made with my pack actually only went up on my TikTok. I may have also posted it on here um, separately later on. I don't think this matters which way it goes up because it looks the same both sides. So we're going to pop this. I say in the centre but we're going to put it slightly towards the top and I keep sticking if I hold on to the edges. So it's sort of like an even distance from the top and sides but then slightly more space from the bottom. Um, and then on the back of these I'm going to use a little bit of a glue dot just to secure them in place. So I'm going to pop the glue dot, um, I'm going to tuck it in here and pop it straight on the card and then as I arrange my flowers I will gently uh, stick them to the glue dot and it will be hidden behind. So we've got these leaves and these leaves so I want them kind of in the middle so that one there like that mm. that one there like that mm. I don't know if I like that one actually I'm not sure on the uh, border because the others don't have borders Let's see if we've got any that don't have any borders oh, there's a nice Yeah, we'll go with that one instead. Just a little bit more colour to it, but it doesn't have a border on it. There we go. So we're going to pop this one. Mm. 
the front just there, like so. And then the sentiment, I'm going to pop here. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well. So really the only prep I did for making this card was actually cutting the card base and making the sentiment. Everything else was already pre-cut and I literally just had to pop it out the page. So these are great for super, super duper quick cards. Um, well, there's really don't need much planning at all. So now I've got this single Calypso Coral Flower because I was going to use that to cover my um, glue dot. I'm going to pop this up on a dimensional, just like so, and then use that to hide my glue dot. And then I have, let's see what gems I have. Might use some uh, peach pie, or I could use. Um, yeah, I think we'll go peach. I don't know, peach pie is a little bit too. I think we're going to go with pretty and pink actually. Use some of these. So I haven't used any of these ones. These are the 24 to 26 in colour resin dots. Don't think I've used any of these yet. No, I haven't. So I'm going to put a couple of the um, pretty and pink ones on here. Of course, I've got to go for the magic number three. And there we have it. Super simple. Done in less than five minutes. And, and that was really without any preparation whatsoever. So um, I do love these um, new sets that have got more ephemera side of things included so you can buy the mix and match ephemera sets right now which are new in the catalog which i can just show you um you just find the mix and match page so here we go so you've got these here um literally you just pop them out and you can build your cards as you go so here we go so there's four different ephemera packs you can get and then you've got card blanks and envelopes as well um so buying this sort of thing is literally just cards ready to go all you would need is some um glue of some sort or some dimensionals and you can just literally pop a card together again in literally two minutes because you just need to pop them from the uh, um die cut pages and pop them straight on your cards um you've also got a simply say um simply said stamped sentiment stamp set that coordinates with these as well so you can use these on the labels and layers um ephemera pack or there's the saying something which is even easier you just pop those out and can stick or glue them on um but the pack we were actually using today is is along the same lines and it's literally DSP and so it's three sheets of double sided DSP and three sheets of die cut pieces um, so yeah um, here's just a few ideas of different things you can make with them just shows you how many different sorts of pieces are included and what you can do with them um, so there we go there's a super simple card this is a darker colored card base so i might be inclined to um put a white layer matte layer on the inside which we could do quickly um so on the inside of this card your matte layer would just need to be 10 by 14. so let's just cut this down to 14. just because it just makes it easier to um write in a card if you've got a lighter colored card base or layer to um, write on. So there's that bit cut out, I'll just grab some glue, we'll glue that down. So there you go, give it a nice little squiggle in the middle of glue. Um, there we 
there we go you could stamp a sentiment on the inside if you wanted as well or you could just leave it as it is um i like how simple these cards are to make and how quickly you can do them i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you will look out for the next part to see what card i or project i make next with this um uh, frames and flowers um speciality paper pack and i will see you again soon thank you bye bye